welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. I have done just a little bit of leveling, and by just a little bit, I think I mean somewhere around two weeks worth of leveling. Um, at this point in the game, things get an awful lot more difficult. And it is very prudent to go and uh, level up for one guide said 10 hours. I just go until I'm more than comfortable. I was hoping to upgrade a couple of weapons. I think all of my weapons are uh, tier 2 except for Snows. Um, and I was hoping to upgrade his before I started recording, but then I realized that I am getting really tight on schedule. Remember those uh, three or so weeks that I have of backlog? Well, now I have barely a week, and I really need to get to recording, or else uh, I'm going to have to put this on hiatus until I keep going. That said, if you take a look at my HP, I have almost three times the health of uh, when you last saw me. Lightning has 4,400 HP points right now. HP points is slightly redundant. Uh, you'll notice that I am not having quite as much difficulty with uh, with these hoplites. Uh, with a preemptive that Thundaga from Hope that I just picked up almost one hits these guys. It makes this uh, break a sweat. what was it a 20-30 second battle before turn to only two seconds. What's really spectacular is if I get a preemptive on those bombs up there. However, you've seen me go up there. You've seen what, what lies up there. Uh, I will show you now what I've done since uh, last time. I didn't actually want to hit that button. I want to hit that one. Alright, I have gone and done, I think it's in dialogue. Maybe not. Anyways, I have gone and done a bunch of the, uh, the mission marks. Um, mission marks? Sea stones. And uh, let me show you my abilities. I think that'll help as well. Another really interesting thing, you will see these, uh, these characters start to really come into their own. Status is helpful. All right, you'll see uh, Lightning is strong. Uh, she has about the same strength and magic. The only reason she's higher in strength is because of her weapon. Fang is definitely strength biased. She has one of the highest strength stats in the game, probably the highest even as of right now. Hope is just as biased in the magic direction, and he actually has more magic than Fang has strength. You'll take a, you'll see that Saz here. He is kind of um, he's balanced, but he's not really strong. Uh, he does have a decent amount of HP. He's got over five thousand right now, uh, but he really shines in his synergist role, and that's kind of what what he's made for. Snow has the highest C, uh, HP of all. He's got almost 6,000 right now. and uh, But his strength and magic are, are lower than Fang. And uh, not as good as they could be. Vanille is also magic biased. Uh, she's basically Snow's counterpart. Definitely useful to have. But uh, Hope is slightly better as far as magic goes. Although her... Vanille's HP is a lot higher than Hope's. Before I uh, run into this group of enemies, I've got a cutscene to show you. Uh, back in... Uh, back where we started in Valis Media, if you return to that area and keep walking along that path towards where we found the uh, Alexander Idolith, uh, you come to this area that's called Yasha's Massif. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, in that area, there's a little cutscene, and without any further ado, here it is. Something on your mind? Huh? Oh, I, uh, I was just thinking. About what? Something complicated? <laughs> I was just taking it all in. The sky here, 
the trees, the sunlight, the smells. When I was on Cocoon, I never dreamed a place like this could even exist. But now, here I am, on Pulse. If I hadn't gone to those fireworks, if I hadn't been sitting in that same train car during the purge, if anything had been different, I'd never have had a chance to see this. Uh-uh. No. I'm sure you would have wound up here. Don't you remember you promised me? You promised me that we'd come and see Grand Pulse together. Uh, really? I... When did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. How about another lifetime? <laughs> Uh, what does that even mean? To tell you the truth, I've told so many lies, it's all a blur. Well, you know, sometimes you have to lie about stuff to keep yourself going because you're afraid. Or to protect someone else so they don't get hurt. Sometimes even the things that everyone in the whole world thinks are true turn out to be lies. At the end of the day, though, it's not the lie that matters, but what you do after you tell it. Work hard enough, and you can make it true. I mean, maybe we both forgot. Maybe we did promise to see Grand Pulse together. And Cocoon. Thanks, Hope. Do something for me, will ya? Keep smiling. I... It makes me happy when you smile. Uh, I... I didn't know you felt that way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean you were joking? Now we're even. <laughs> oh! Hey! Wait! <laughs> All right, welcome back. Now, in this area, you can stand here as long as you want, and you will never get a preemptive on these guys. You get this close, and the ambling bellows, or whatever he's called back there, I think that's his name, he'll see you. Uh, Box Phoenix, my bad. Um, all right, so I'm going to see what I can do with getting rid of the Phoenix. Uh, ambling bellows is a different enemies that looks very similar. Um, anyways, this guy is pretty dangerous. And if he keeps going after Hope, it might not be good. One of the reasons I wanted to level up was because of this guy. He is dangerous just as he is, and with about you know, a third of the health, he gets really dangerous. So, now all I've got are these hoplites. If you, uh, spend enough time on the phalanx, he will do a spell that um, that increases the strength and a bunch of stuff for these guys. As it was, I think he summoned two extras in here, which means our... Uh, let's go to regression. It means that our uh, score is going to be a little lower because we had to kill off two more. Yeah, four stars. Oh well. I'm not caring about five stars. And it looks like there's a cutscene here. Yep. What can it be? A Grand Pulse Falci made this path. Yep. I bet it's off digging more tunnels right now. They seem different from all the Falci we've seen on Cocoon, you know? It's like they just plow through, without caring what happens around them. That's true. Then again, we were able to build our village on land cleared by Falci. We lived alongside them, just like you do on Cocoon. Oh yeah, this is just like Cocoon. <laughs> In a world this big, who knows what we'll find. The Mahabara Subterra. 
Grand Pulse. Mahavara is one of my favorite areas, mostly because of that leveling spot. And, uh, yeah, I will come back to it again. Try not to get lost here, at least here. Did I see new merchandise? Let's go shopping! I just got a new credit card, so let's take a look. More and up in arms. These are just a bunch of weapons that I'm not going to buy. Um, Plautus' workshop. Spica Defenders. Again, more more weapons I'm not going to buy. B&W Outfitters. Warrior's Wristband. Increases strength by 100. That might be useful. Sorcerer's Mark. Increases magic by 100. Also useful. And is that it? That's it. Okay. And Lenore's Garage. Superconductor. I can't remember if that's better than what I've been using. Perfect Conductor is better. I know that. Alright. So now, instead of using uh, Turbo Jets, we're going to go after the Perfect Conductor. A slightly better use of our gill, yet still rather expensive. Alright. Waho? Who are you calling a waho? Onwards. Onwards to a bunch of bombs. And they see me. That's. Kind of wanted to show you a preemptive on these bombs. Uh, Hope can literally one shot them with Karaga. Which is pretty cool, because up until now, I've been saying that Hope is the most useless thing ever to come to Final Fantasy. And he actually comes into his own around this chapter and does a decent amount of damage and makes me not want to kill him quite as much because his health is slightly better. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be taking a look around here. As I said, I'm not going to be showing off rats. Stupid pulse work knight. I don't even think he's a knight. I think he's something worse. What is he? Pulse work centurion, of course. Why would it just be a pulse work knight? Those were bad enough. Okay, we get two pulse work centurions. Anyways, as I said, I'm not going to be showing you uh, a lot of the. I need some help. I will get this thought out eventually. <laughs> I'm not going to be showing you a lot of the um, the sea stones. I did do a couple. Uh, I'm not going to be showing you a lot of treasure. I got a whole bunch of treasure on the Arkelt uh, step, which I still have no idea how to pronounce it. Um, and uh, down in Yasha's Massif, there was a bunch of stuff there as well. I sense bad guys. And... Maybe there aren't any. There's a treasure chest in here. You kind of like places like this? Bang, what's wrong with you? This is a dank and dreary tunnel. It's a, it's a friggin' tunnel. There's nothing cheery about this place. Did I get him? It would be nice if I got a preemptive on him. Yes! And no, we're not going to one-shot him, oh well. But he's not that powerful once we get rid of his, uh, once we get him to stagger. Okay. Um. If, if I hear a huge outcry for people wanting to see the treasure, then I did make a save point before I went and got it all, and I can go and show you guys but in reality it's kind of boring and uh, yeah you probably ought to just if, if you want to buy it for yourself you should just uh, yeah if you want to know where to buy it for yourself that's what I'm trying to say Dude. anyways I think I think we should uh, Libra or something. I always hit the wrong button when I want Libra. 
Libra. I read recently that it takes about two quit. bouts of Libra to actually learn an enemy completely. Which is crazy. I always thought it was just one. 